Majesty. It is a high honor to welcome you once again to the United States. And I am confident that your visit here on this occasion will be as fruitful and as beneficial to both of our countries as the visit of your illustrious father with my predecessor, President Eisenhower, several years ago. Though a wide ocean separates our two countries, they have been bound together throughout uh, our history. Your country was the first to recognize the United States in the most difficult days of our revolution. Our president, uh, first president, President Washington, sent our constitution for your country in 1789. And from that day to the present, the ties have been intimate in war and in peace. We are very proud to welcome you here, Your Majesty. Your distinguished record as the leader of your country, which occupies a position of strategic importance in the world, which uh, occupies a position of increasing significance along the Mediterranean and along the Atlantic. For all these reasons, uh, we are particularly glad to welcome you here at the present time. You will find, uh, Your Majesty, that you come to a country which uh, knows uh, Morocco. A good many of our uh, sons have uh, fought there, lived there in war and in peace, and we are proud to welcome you here on this occasion, and we know that your visit uh, will be beneficial to both of our countries and to both of our people. Mr. President, Friends, at this moment, as I meet Your Excellency and renew my acquaintance with the people of the United States of America, I am deeply moved by a feeling of joy and happiness. I wish to thank you, Mr. President, for taking the lead in making possible this occasion, thus affording me the opportunity to meet Your Excellency personally and to visit again this great country which has realized splendid achievements in progress and civilization. Speaking for myself and on behalf of my people and my government, I deem it a great and real pleasure to greet the people of the United States, their president and their government, as well as to express to them the affection and the admiration we cherish for them. It is with pleasure also that I express our strong desire to consolidate the friendship which has characterized our traditional relations of the independence of the United States. My people, bent as they are on establishing and furthering close relations with all the nations of the world, whether small or big, are pleased that I have come to visit this great country of yours and will follow with deep concern the progress of my visit here. My people are hopeful also that this visit will prove to be a means for further understanding and closer relations between them and the people of the United States, and that it may usher in a new era of stronger ties in the field of true and honest and unselfish cooperation in their mutual interest, as well as in the interest of the cause of freedom, peace, and human dignity throughout the world.